China has made remarkable feat in building the most amazing mega projects that the world has witnessed. In just a very short period of time, there has been a lot that China has accomplished. Now let's take a look at some of the most amazing modern infrastructure projects that China has built for the world. So join us as we bring you something big that China has been building for the world we live in. Take a look at this. Engineers are assembling a plexiglass spherical structure. The core of the detector for China's next generation neutrino detector, the Jiangmen Underground Neutrino Observatory, known as Juno. China has achieved a major breakthrough in the building of its next-generation neutrino detector. With the completion of the detector's main structure, some 700 meters underground in Jiangmen City, South China's Guangdong Province. With its wall thickness of 120 mm, at a weight of more than 600 tons, the plexiglass structure is the largest single plexiglass structure in the world. Upon completion, it will be filled with 20,000 tons of liquid scintillator, the target substance for capturing neutrinos. Builders from China State Construction Engineering Corporation are nearing completion of what will be the tallest building in Africa. The 78-story iconic tower in Egypt's yet-to-be-named new capital. The skyscraper is part of a 3 billion investment deal by China to build the central business district of a new smart city, which will eventually house 6.5 million people in Egypt's new capital. It is the largest development project under China's global infrastructure development strategy, the Belt and Road Initiative. On September 2016, China unveiled the world's largest radio telescope and has started test operations searching for signals to understand the origins of the universe. This 500 meters aperture spherical telescope, or FAST, has been constructed over five years in a 45 million year old crater in southern China. The remote location is far from human interference, which may affect the telescope's readings. The massive telescope, called Eye of Heaven, spans the length of more than five football fields. China is building the Linglong One, a small modular reactor, in the country's southern island province of Hainan. It's the world's first of this type of reactor to be approved by the International Atomic Energy Agency and it intends to serve the region's diverse power needs. The 
the construction of the 125 megawatts ACP100 pressurized water reactor Linglong 1 began in July 2021 following approval from China's National Development and Reform Commission. Chinese enterprises have provided multiple products and services for the upcoming 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, like from stadium construction to daily necessities. The main Lusail Stadium is the largest and most technologically advanced professional football stadium ever constructed by Chinese enterprises. In the field of transportation, Chinese-made vehicles have also become part of Qatar World Cup services. China built a massive dam across the Qian River in the nation's southern Guangxi Autonomous Region. Officials say that when completed in 2023, the Dayton Gorge Water Reservoir will claim the title of world's largest concrete dam, which is currently held by the Three Gorges Dam. The project has been under construction since November 2014 and is designed to provide flood control and generate electric power. Watch this Chinese artist named Xiang Yang creating movable floating art. This is made from traditional Chinese furniture to which he gave a new life, turning them into new objects. These old pieces now became a movable art island boat showcased in Japan. Thanks to Xiang Yang's inspiration from Chinese architecture and landscape art, a new movable island art boat is made possible. China has built its largest fishery and photovoltaic complementary power project in the city of Wenzhou in eastern China's Zhejiang province. The Taihan project covers a surface area of approximately 4.7 square kilometers with photovoltaic power generation on top and fish farming underneath. It is expected to contribute an average of about 650 million kilowatt hours of electricity to the grid annually, which is enough to power 130,000 households. So, that's all there is to it for now. I hope you found this video wonderful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.